Begin proclaiming the new message for today. You can begin now to affirm that it's okay to have money and riches and that you will use your money wisely. It is normal and natural for us to have more money at certain times than others. If we can trust the power within us to always take care of us no matter what, we can easily flow through the lean times, knowing that we will have more in the future. Money isn't the answer, although many of us think that if we have a lot of money, everything will be fine. We won't have any more problems or worries. But money is truly not the answer. Some of us have all the money that we could ever need, and we still aren't happy. Be grateful for what you have. A gentleman I knew told me that he felt guilty because he couldn't pay back his friends for the kindness and gifts they gave him when he was not doing so well. I told him that there are times when the universe gives to us in whatever form we may need, and we may not be able to give back at that time. In whatever way the universe has decided to respond to your needs, be grateful. There will come a time when you will help someone else. It may not be with money, but with time or compassion. Sometimes we don't realize that these things can be more valuable than money. I can think of many people during the early days of my life who helped me enormously at a time when there was no way for me to pay them back. Years later, I've taken the opportunity to help others. Too often we feel we must exchange prosperity. We must reciprocate. If someone takes us to lunch, we immediately have to take them out to lunch. Or somebody gives us a gift, and we immediately have to buy one for them. We could learn to receive with thanks. Learn to accept, because the universe perceives our openness to receive as not just exchanging prosperity. Much of our problem stems from our inability to receive. We can give, but it's so difficult to receive. When someone gives you a gift, smile and say thank you. If you say to that person, oh, it's the wrong size or the wrong color, I guarantee the person won't ever give you another gift. Accept graciously. And if it really isn't right for you, give it to someone else who can use it. We want to be grateful for what we do have so that we can attract more good to us. If we focus on lack, then we will draw it to us. If we are in debt, we need to forgive ourselves, not berate ourselves. We need to focus on the debt being paid off by doing affirmations and visualizations. Why should you deliberately open your mind to receive? because most of us have endured a pinched, narrow existence for no good reason. We have blocked our good from getting through to us in the process. There's nothing divine about a pinched existence. There's nothing divine about a narrow, limited way of life. It proves nothing but the foolishness and ignorance of man who actually lives in a universe of lavish abundance. Anyone who lives a pinched, narrow existence is not expressing his or her true nature. He's only cheating himself. If this has happened to you, there is something you can do about it. The word receive means to accept. Psychologists tell us that we can have anything we can mentally accept, but that we must mentally accept it first. A great part of the act of receiving is to accept the good you want mentally rather than fighting it mentally. Open your mind to receive by telling God what you want instead of constantly telling people. Telling people what you want can dissipate your good because God is the source of your supply, not people. Although people, ideas, and opportunities are all channels of your supply, God is the source because he creates those ideas and opportunities. 
Through the law of mind action, he helps attract the appropriate people and circumstances to you to help expedite those ideas and opportunities through which your good can come to pass. A statement you will want to use often to help you identify with your source of good is this, I do not depend on persons or conditions for my good. God is the source of my supply and God provides his own amazing channels of good to me now. Giving is the first step in receiving. When you want to receive, give, however, there are three kinds of giving. All three are equally necessary to your long-term growth and success. First, give to God. Put Him first financially. Why? As explained in Buddhism and elsewhere, this is the first quality to be developed in your character on the road to enlightenment. Many conscientious people study self-help, methods galore, yet do not receive the benefits from them that they should because they ignore this first step. Various schemes have been suggested for getting rich quick. Most of them fail because they are based on getting, not giving, not giving. They have no spiritual basis. The reason many people fail to receive their good in life is because they do not practice giving or returning impersonally to the universe in a systematic basis, a portion of all that the universe shares with them. Two businessmen in Chicago once told me that they held the local franchise on one of the most famous success courses in America, one that cost thousands of dollars to take. Though they prospered for a time, they eventually went broke. They finally realized why. Their course had only emphasized getting, not giving. Their course had not taught the spiritual side of prosperity. It had not taught its students to tithe their way to prosperity by returning to the universe a tenth of all they received. It was only after these two businessmen found their way into one of the local New Thought churches and began to put God first financially that their financial affairs stabilized and they began to permanently prosper. When any person withholds that which belongs to the universe, his life is thrown out of balance and he experiences lack in some form. It may be lack of supply, lack of health, lack of love, lack of spiritual understanding, or lack of direction in his life. It is only as we let go of our littleness that we can expand into the larger life. So it is not enough to say that you believe God is the source of your supply. As previously suggested, you must prove that you believe God is the source of your supply by first sharing with Him. This keeps you in touch with a universal source of abundance. The billionaire Solomon pointed out why the wise use this ancient success method and what it could mean to you when he advised, Honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of all thine increase. So shall shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy vats shall overlow with new wine. I am a magnet for money. Prosperity of every kind is drawn to me. Today is a delightful day. Money comes to me in expected and unexpected ways. I move from poverty 
thinking to prosperity thinking and my finances reflect this change. I delight in the financial security that is a constant in my life. I am open and receptive to all the wealth in the universe. I am open and receptive to new avenues of income. I now receive my good from expected and unexpected sources. 